Good morning, YouTube. It's Cooking with Grandpa. Hey, Avery. Are you up yet? Ready to play? Wonderful. Guess who's helping? It's Bossy's helping Grandpa. Hey, Avery. Today I want to talk about a word. Uh, it's The word is sense. Yeah, not sense like this, like in your piggy bank. No, it, that's with a C. Grandpa's talking about sense with an S. Now, let me try to explain this to you. When Grandma would take you out when you're little, and you're first, uh, she's showing you flowers in the garden, and different vegetables, and berries, and the colors, and things like this. Hey, Avery, you're using your senses. Yeah, and, and you know, you got your sense of sight. You know, Grandma's talking to you, you got your sense of hearing. And like, especially the berries, you could taste them, you could smell them, you could touch them. Well, those are the five senses that everybody has, you know, and, and most folks, you know, we, we don't think about it. We just go about our day and not even wonder or worry until one of those senses may be gone. Okay, Avery, so, yeah, so it's always good, like, when you're doing things, playing, uh, you know, if you have to wear a helmet, uh, gloves, things like this, you know, you always want to wear your personal protective equipment, okay? And Dad's real good about that with you, Dave. So, anyhow, what Grandpa was talking about is... For example, in cooking, okay, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like playing, you know, because when you get the most out of something, when you use all your senses, and you remember it well, and it, be it becomes second nature, and with you, especially being little, you're always discovering things, so you're always using your senses to the maximum of your ability. So, but in cooking, uh, you know, you can taste what we're eating. You can smell it. You can hear it like on the salmon video. Remember when it sizzled and it went on the grill? And uh, you could touch it. You know, you could, you could feel it. And, and, and those sort of things. So when you utilize the majority of your senses, like almost all of them, or, you know, uh, you get the most benefit out of whatever you're doing. And it stays with you longer. That's called learning. And, and so Grandpa, one of his missions in life is to help you learn, honey, as best he can. Okay, so today, what do you think we should make today? Something, I'm thinking something that Grandpa makes every time we go on vacation for everybody. Do you remember what that is? What? Cowboy potatoes? Whoa! Here we go. So anyhow, when we come back, Grandpa's going to uh, lay out all the ingredients, show you what we got going, and we're going to assemble a big old pan of cowboy potatoes for everyone, because I know you're coming over to spend the night. So I want you to have a hearty breakfast in the morning so you can play and enjoy yourself. All right, hi. Grandpa's going to go inside. Hey, you Grandpa's right back in the kitchen, and I have my giant pan. Big, 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 big pan. That's a monster pan, but you need a big pan for cowboy potatoes. Got my tool, big spatula. Grandpa's got all these potatoes, okay, and they are organic. Organic potatoes, okay. And we got organic onions. I blocked out the manufacturer's names, okay. Organic garlic, there it is. Onions, and we have Grandpa's ghee butter right here. Okay, the real McCoy. Those are basically all the ingredients we're gonna need. So when Grandpa comes back, not only are we gonna fillet all this stuff out, right? Well, Grandpa is gonna play cowboy music too. What do you think, huh? That's the only way to make cowboy potatoes is to sing along, huh? Yeah! Okay, we'll be right back. back. And I want to show you a couple things now. They got everything filleted out, ready to go, just before cooking. So it's called preparation. We got everything prepared to go in the pan. So the next step is cooking, of course, okay? And then the final step will be eating. Ooh, okay, check this out. Grandpa's got two pans, because what he's going to do, he's going to uh, cook the onions separately. I'm going to caramelize the onions, bring out the sweetness, because they are already, they are sweet onions, okay? And we have the Yukon gold potatoes. I like to cook it separately because you know, if I found if you put them all together, a lot of times it burns. You know, the onions burn and a little bit of a bitter taste sometimes. Just a little, little crispy and it's not a lot. But anyhow, uh, yeah. So I'm going to show you what we got here. And we have the garlic. I'm going to put the garlic in last because uh, I'm going to put add it to the onions at the very end of the onions, and then I'm going to wait till the potatoes are almost done before I put in the onions with the potatoes. So I got the onions here all chopped up. You can chop them really any way you want to chop them. I got the potatoes. There's three pounds of potatoes. There's two medium uh, sweet onions, three pounds of potatoes. Now, when we have, you know, Avery, you know when we, Grandpa, when we go to the ocean, 
you know, gosh, I make a bigger batch, but you know, it's just you and mom coming over and maybe dad. So I'm just gonna make a little batch. Three pounds of potatoes should be enough. And I got some extra ghee butter, you know, just in case, you know, we need uh, a little more slippery. So anyhow, watch this. Grandpa's gonna put the onions on. Whoa, look at that. Okay, I didn't hear a sizzle. It's because it got the heat down a little bit. I turned the heat up. Okay, and put my potatoes in. Taters, yeah. So all those guys are in, okay. Grandpa's gonna wait on the garlic. And, oh, by the way, did you know, Avery, yeah, speaking of cowboy potatoes, that Grandpa's Grandpa, did you know this? I don't know if you know this. Grandpa's Grandpa was a cowboy. Did you know that? Check it out, Grandpa found a picture. Check it out. There's Grandpa's Grandpa. Wow, isn't that cool? Yep, they, they, they say he was a Mississippi Riverboat gambler. Ha, huh, how about that? Buddy, help, I'll be back. And when we come back, Grandpa's going to rock on to some cowboy tunes while we cook. So I might not spend a lot of time talking, but I might spend some time singing. Okay, we'll hey, be right back. Here we are, Grandpa's back with cowboy potatoes. Okay, everybody in the pool. Hey, garlic's going in. Hey, hey. Right in those caramelized onions. Gonna mix that up just a little bit. Uh huh. And look at these guys. Oh, how wonderful. Now you can cook these about as long as you want, but you know what? Uh, they just get yummier and yummier. And then at the very end, Grandpa's gonna salt and pepper these guys. So I'm gonna kick back and have some cowboy tunes, okay? Here we go. Ready, set. Rolling, rolling, keep them doggies rolling, raw hot. Let's get with the music here. Hot. Okay, here we go. And put the phone down a second. Rolling. Keep them doggies rolling, raw hot. Hell bent for leather. Sigh. Good fiddles loving kissing. The end of the line. Hit him up. Hit him up. Hide. Yeah. Right him in. Hey. Hit raw hide. Crap, I could play the drums. It's random. We may be at the end of the line. He'll be waiting, waiting at the end of the line. Hey, hold up! Hit him up! Help! Yeah! Ride them in! Ride them all! Hey, ride them in raw hot!